Hey, what's up, what's happening, what's going on, Cantaloupes? Uh, sports is an all-around team sport. You have the athletes, sure, but then you also have media members, coaches, front office, and all of that. Let's talk about them. I'm Mike Cantaloupo, and today we present the 10 most legendary non-athletes in sports history. Tom Landry, he was the Cowboys head coach from 1960 to 1988. Jesus. He was given credit for inventing the 4-3 defense. He made the Cowboys known as America's team, and he had 20 straight winning seasons. Sure, there's Mike Dicka, uh, Raymond Berry, Dan Reeves. They all come from Landry's coaching tree. Uh, he became iconic for wearing that fedora and roaming around the sidelines. He will never be forgotten. Al Michaels. His career began with ABC Sports in 1977. In 1980, he called the famous Miracle on Ice. You believe in miracles? Yes! Uh, he also called the 1989 World Series Earthquake. Uh, he was the former voice of Monday Night Football. He's now the voice of Sunday Night Football. He's broadcasted 11, yes, 11 Super Bowls, multiple NBA Finals, Kentucky Derbies, and Olympic Games. Obviously, Al Michaels is the most accomplished announcer ever. George Steinbrenner, the boss. This guy made the Yankees the Yankees. He owned the Yankees from 1973 till his death in 2010. He went through 20 managers 23 times. He was never afraid to hire people, obviously, but he helped stars like Reggie Jackson, uh, Derek Jeter, all of these people become ultimate icons. Now, he did institute the famous no long hair and beards policy. He won seven World Series with the Yankees while he was the owner. Uh, he started this movement of just like throwing money at star talents and he changed the game of baseball forever. John Madden. So yeah, of course, he coached the Raiders from 1969 to 1978. He led them to a Super Bowl. He has 103 career wins. But that being said, uh, yeah, he, okay. He also became a legendary NFL commenter uh, for 30 years. But what makes John Madden John Madden is Madden, the video game franchise. He changed the landscape of sports by bringing it truly into the video game sphere and changed the way we all learned about sports. Bill Belichick. So now he's been an NFL coach for over 40 years. He's revolutionized defensive schemes, and he, he did come from the Bill Parcells coaching tree. He led the Patriots to a dynasty, five Super Bowls in the 21st century. Obviously, we all know him. He, he's up there now. He's the best draft evaluating person of all time. Uh, many of his assistants have been coaches. Nobody will ever forget him. Vince Lombardi, the head coach of the Packers from 1959 to 1967. He's a six-time NFL champion. This Super Bowl actual trophy is named after the guy. He's obviously a legend. He and Bart Starr turned the Packers into the NFL's ultimate dynasty. He was a really early advocate of gay rights, which is really cool and uh, makes me respect him a whole lot more. Marvin Miller. He was the executive director of the Major League Baseball Players Association from 1968 to 82. He helped raise the average MLB player salary from 19,000 to 326,000. Can you believe that? I want that guy on my team. Uh, he created MLB free agency. He led players through three strikes and two lockouts. He absolutely changed the game of baseball and made it better for players. Probably the most influential MLB figure that you didn't know the name of, of all time. Vin Scully, 67 seasons as the LA Dodgers announcer. Uh, he's worked for major networks like CBS and NBC. He's won countless awards for his broadcasting work. He's called numerous World Series, but Vin Scully, of course, will always be known as the voice of the Dodgers, but it's also cool that he called Bill Buckner's World Series mistake and Kirk Gibson's pitch and home run. Maybe he didn't get to go to the Olympics and all that stuff, but he might be the greatest announcer ever as well. Pete Rozelle, NFL commissioner from 1960 to 89. Uh, he landed a whole bunch of TV contracts. 
He got revenue sharing TV deals for NFL teams. He catapulted the NFL into what it is now. And he did work extensively to form the AFL and NFL together. Without him, the NFL is not the NFL. There probably are still going to be two different leagues if it wasn't for that guy. James Naismith. He was a Canadian-born American school teacher. Uh, he studied at McGill University in Montreal and taught at a YMCA in Springfield, Massachusetts. What did he do? Oh, in 1891, he just created basketball. No big deal. The University of Kansas created a men's basketball team in 1898, and then boom. All the legends you love today wouldn't have been possible without Naismith. Who do you think is the most legendary non-athlete in sports history? Join me in the comment section below. Uh, if you like this video, hit the like button. If you're new, subscribe. Until next time, I'm Mike Cantaloupe. Thanks for watching.